start hey guys myself rakesh and i welcome you back to my channel in this video i am going to give you complete explanation of how to use trigger scope what is this what is this triggers and actions everything in detail with a practical example we will understand so let me delete this activity to find this activity i have to go to activities panel and here type trigger simply type trigger if you scroll down under application you have something called trigger scope drag and drop this trigger scope to your activity panel now trigger that means there has to be some event and some action should happen for example if somebody is opening a notepad then it says it logs a message stating user has opened notepad or let's say it is opening some application then it logs something saying okay user has opened this application at so and so time you know something like that so let's go with a very simple example now for this under the application you have something called process start trigger in ui path so drag and drop process start trigger and this activity ask you provide me the process name so that i will monitor so what is the process name we will go with a very simple one which everyone can experiment that is notepad right so i will say notepad.exe do not simply write notepad you have to write .exe just try try with notepad because it did not work for me so exe is what i feel is required so give it a try and let me know so notepad.exe i have typed click on okay so that means the process start trigger understands hey i need to wait for notepad.exe anybody who opens notepad.exe or anybody who opens notepad then the action whatever we are going to define inside this box going to execute so here we will not make it very complicated rather we will keep it simple and use a simple message box remove this type message box and i'm going to you can use log message log right right line those are the practical usage but here we need to understand how it works so here in the message box i'm going to say user has opened notepad user has opened notepad because once you understand how it works it's up to you to make it more complex and more useful so here i have written everything so let's run it okay or let's debug it so that we can see how it is running all right just wait look at this how the process is going to start okay that is important so it started and what is happening in the process start trigger this activity that we have mentioned inside this trigger block it just keep on waiting it will keep on waiting keep on waiting until unless the user opens something which this will understand so until unless user is opening notepad because i have mentioned here it is going to wait here you open anything else it will not react the moment you open notepad see the moment i open look at this the box is here it will happen at the background it will be so quick so let me hit on notepad the moment i have hit, hit notepad what happened did you see it has immediately come to the action block and it has executed whatever activity we have mentioned saying user has opened notepad click on okay okay you have clicked on okay now let's say i am trying to open the notepad once again look at it i have opened the notepad once again see it is ex the action is executing once again and again it has shown me user has opened me notepad getting it so this one you must have understood okay rakesh i understood how this one works there is one more thing this keep on looping many people do not want that in their project they do not want this to loop right unlimited times so there is a option here known as one time in the scheduling mode go with you know experiment with all this three i'll go with one time so what is this one time so it will just happen for one time very simple so let's this time i'm going to run it okay so run it so already a notepad is open so it's not going to do anything if anything is already open it doesn't it, it, nothing matters to that but the moment uses starts a new action okay for example the execution has already started is running okay it's just waiting for me to open notepad the moment i am opening notepad see i have opened it a new instance the action got triggered and it's saying user has opened notepad and this is only going to happen once okay and it has stopped so this is also another useful information 
anyone who is looking for such kind of a changes in the property here it is okay one time so thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you on ui path thank you take care bye bye